Hey guys, so I just got off of Periscope where I was talking about my schedule, my kind of production schedule and how I plan things out. So I figured I would just do a little bit more detail on this and I'm going to actually go around to the other side. So you're going to see my hands come in here. So here's what we've got. I've got a project coming up and how do I plan it? Well, let me first, what you're going to see is like it, in the first step, I'm in Evernote and I will show you that in just a second. That's where I break down what's going to happen, my goals, what day the actual workshop is going to happen, which incidentally is September 18th. And then I go to my, my cleanest, most untouched planner and I grab that and start creating the schedule and the plan there because I do need a whole clear white space. I need a lot of space to dream and to think about what's going to happen. Now I did this last week. <laughs> I actually made this initial video here. And when I did that, I planned on last week being the week that I was actually going to start talking about the topic for the, the workshop, but that didn't happen. So I covered some things up and but the thing that did say was obviously this because this is my podcast. So if you look over here, even this is just kind of like an easy color coding system I've created for myself with the, the colors that I like the best. So anything that's pink is a podcast. Anything that's dark pink is a blog post. Anything that's gray, slate gray is an email. So you can see that today I should have an email going out at some point today, and it will point to that blog post that just went up. So the plan for this specific workshop is essentially to give you content prior to the workshop that will help you understand whether that workshop is even for you. Um, but at the same time, the content that will be coming out in the podcast that I'll be talking about in the newsletter, all of it will be absolutely applicable to wherever you are right now. So the same thing will happen each week. There'll be a blog post and the podcast and probably um, probably just one email next week, but I might do a second email. It just depends. So now let's just go through and I'm going to add a few more things because I pretty much figured out what communication is happening this week. Now, this does not include me talking about it on Periscope for now. Right now, we're just doing blog posts and emails and, you know, other content. So let's just go in here. And by the way, I did start putting putting this color coding thing right on this sheet of paper, though, so that I can pop it in, you know, wherever I am. But I kind of like it better here. So because it looks all janky. I don't know. Okay. So let's look at this now. So I have, if you can go back to August here, I do have a blog post that's going to go up on Sunday and an email that's going to go out on, oh, actually it should be, it should be opposite. I just went against my own system. So podcast going up and then on Monday, I will announce the workshop officially and point people to that blog post. Um, there will likely be another blog post, um, So let's, we already put in the ones we know, which are those. And let's put those slate gray ones in because we know there's a newsletter in all of these. And the great thing, also I'm going to put, so this teal is a deadline. That, that deadline is actually the actual class. But the date that the tickets for the event close is going to be the 11th. That way I can spend this whole week giving, giving, giving to the people who are, who have signed up for the class. And though I haven't put this in there, I'm going to, I'm going to set these up so that I know when I'm going to email those people. Maybe you'll be one of those people. And let's see, we'll need one more to go the day before the class. So these will be like, you know, there will be a welcome email that goes to anybody who purchases 
or who enrolls or whatever you want to call it, like who decides to join this class. And then each of these days will be kind of preparing those people for the workshop. One day I'll be asking about questions that they might want me to answer during like the questions round. And likely one of these days will be resources that I'll be sending out to people. Now I always, even if it's not related to the launch, I do like to make sure that I'm accounting for other work that does have to get done, like the blog post that I'm sticking to for Tuesdays. So let's just get those popped in. Now this one up here may not actually happen. And I'll tell you why. Uh, this one. How can I get that out? That's weird. This may be a maybe only because I've got one that went up on Sunday, if you remember, and I sent an email out on that day. I might do that. Maybe it'll be an easier one that I can just pop up. I do have an idea for what that would be. So this tells me what stuff I have to create. Now, what I may do on this date as well, just because, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put closing email one, closing email two. And this one is going to be in the newsletter, so it'll just be like, hey, um, tomorrow it's closing. If you want to come to the class on the 18th, get your buns in there. And then we'll be also pointing to that podcast, but it'll also be a nice little reminder for that. Um, and then let's see, what else we got here? See, I like to keep it light. I like to make sure that most of my communication happens here. But the one thing, I, I'm going to put this here just so visually it reminds me that Monday, you know what I'm already going to do? I'm already going to take this off. I'm not going to do that additional blog post. I'll tell you why. This is my daughter's first day of school. I'm going to be busy with her getting her, getting her to school and, you know, making sure that she's all settled those first couple of days. This now goes off of here doesn't actually even need to be here at all. Um, so here's what we've got then. Let's, let's go recap everything that's going to happen. Blog post and email goes today. I may not send that email. See, this is how I do things. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I don't even need to send that email. I just need to make sure that it's promoted on social media. So I'll do that. Thursday, I will um, mention this blog post. I will also talk about the podcast that's going up, and it's my daughter's meet and greet day. This is, um, perhaps that email, though, is for Fearless Launcher. Just going to put that there. And then here, I put shop and notes, because here are some other things that need to get done now behind the scenes. I need to make the shop listing. I need to make sure that Everything in IS is set up. I have to just put I. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, Infusionsoft. So that makes sure Infusionsoft is set up and the shop is set up. Um, I use WooCommerce so that, and I use something else that links up WooCommerce with Infusionsoft. So when, even when I add new products just on the WooCommerce site, it will create them inside my Infusionsoft. Get that all set up. And then this is when, if you can see here, let's actually go over here. This is when that blog post will go up that leads to the shop. And then this is when the first official email will go out on Monday. I'm going to do that too. When we get that, I'm also going to make sure this is here just so. There. And you know what I'm going to make the goldenrod. I didn't add that to the mix, but I will is shop. So everything shop related has to kind of be done by Saturday. So you can see that all I'm doing is color coding. All I'm saying is like, okay, there's essentially blog posts, emails, shop. I'm not doing like a sales page in the way that you might expect me to because this is not a product per se. It's going to be a live workshop. So then the blog post goes up, then I'll send that email out. Both of these will have access to the shop. So they both need the shop done by those dates. 
I'm also going to just pop this goldenrod in here as well, just so that we know. We got to make sure people know that if this thing is on the shop. So this may be very well where the uh, true promotion of things start. But what I've got planned is mostly outside of this. So this is like step one. It's just kind of figuring out what communication is going to go out during this time. The next piece, which I will grab some more stickers, just a sec. So, so I'm also going to do this. I'm going to put some additional things in here for, because there is space tomorrow. I would hate, okay, that is there, good. And this is another glass. And it's just doing this. It, that's another glass, but then I'm doing another glass. So these are good class markers, okay, starbursts, and then I haven't decided the date, but likely it's going to be like, what am I going to do? I'm going to do it here. Maybe I'll do it on the weekend. Okay, so that'll be where the other one is. I haven't announced that one yet, but I definitely am going to be doing that. And let's see. So I think that what I really want to do is just start writing out the tasks that I need for this. So I'm just going to put them right below here. And I'm going to start writing out those tasks that I've written and that I have inside Evernote. I'm just going to pull them in here just so I can see them all. And let's see, what else do we want? And because I just love these stickers so much, I am going to start, I'm going to write all my goals out over here just because it's closer to the date and I'll be able to see it. And then, let's see what else do I want. And I'm not going to use, there's this one sticker set that I have here. And it's where I can write down my statistics. But I'm not going to write down followers and that kind of stuff on this. I actually want to write, um, in theory, how many people are coming from these places. So I'm going to put this down here. And just to remind myself to make those, maybe I'll even put my bit.ly link here or my pretty link there, just so I know which one I'm using and what, what is the tally at that point. So that's kind of it for this stuff. This is really just to map out, do I have enough time? And when I take a peek at this, I think, okay, I definitely need more in here for my social media. So that's probably what I should add in here. So I'm just gonna say, let's start our social media. Well, let's start it literally like this day. Um, I, I always like to give my current subscribers like the heads up so this is when i'm going to start social media is on the first and that's going to include periscope instagram facebook and perhaps youtube um that's one more thing it actually reminds me is that which ones of these are going to be videos is there going to be a video do i need any other things um as far as that goes But I think for now, this just shows you, this just allows me to map it all out and see what do I need and do I need any more stuff. So when I'm looking at it, I if, I, if it were somebody else's, I might say, is there another day that you can email out? And I might say, why don't we make the blog post go from Labor Day? Because then that will give you a good reason to email people 
actual legitimate reason to email people. And then you can, you can send them to the blog post because people might be home on that day. That's a good thing to remember is that just because it's a holiday doesn't mean it's going to bug people. In fact, who's sitting at their computer sometimes on holidays when they're off? Me. So I say, okay, so that's, that's the email there. And so you have to really think though, think it through and think, okay, what is the point of the email? Okay, well, it's to get them to that, but you also want to mention what's happening at the end of the week. And I think it's, this is a good opportunity. I'm going to make a note for like th what that content will be. And this is actually inspired by trainer Valerie Waters and how she was saying that the 8th of September is often, for many people, especially moms, like New Year's Day or the New Year because it's your chance to kind of like get yourself back to your normal schedule, reaffirm your goals, and so this is a perfect day. And of course, it's Labor Day, and the topic of the workshop is training your team to launch. Uh, so it's just, it's all kinds of perfect. So, so that's, And then, so then, that's why I close the doors here. Um, there, there could be people asking to get in, and we'll see. It just depends on the number of people that decide they want to attend. If I feel like it's enough space, then I will definitely let them come in. But it's hard to say because I did want to make sure that I limited seats. And that's why I'm doing this, so that everyone gets a chance. And I get a chance to get to know people and what they're, what they're struggling with. So you can see it's kind of a big month. There's a lot going on. A lot has to go out the door. So I better get to work. Um, I am gonna take you inside my Evernote, but for now, this was just to show you how I map out right before a launch, like different things that have to get done. And for me, they're always about what is that, that public thing that needs to get done? Post, email, email, post, email, podcast, you know, podcast, whatever, podcast, email, podcast, email, like all that stuff. I'm looking, you know, I could, I could probably do more content, but I am choosing not to do more content this time. So this way I'm still doing two times a week for published stuff. And then, you know, for the first couple of weeks, sure, it will definitely be two emails, maybe this, you know. This last day we'll have a few more but I'm very specific in how I do it and I feel like this looks good so let me just make a note here let me just turn this around so sure okay all right party people thanks so much for watching and I will also put up my put a link to the periscope video so you can catch that just in case you missed the live episode uh, that we did. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.